Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of GigaTech. So in my last couple of videos, we done some tutorials on API testing and Gherkin language. Uh, today, uh, again, we are going to give a review on a software uh, tool uh, instead of tutorial. So first of all, I would like to thank to uh, all my viewers for their like uh, for their support. If you're new to my channel, please do like, share, and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press notification bell. So today we are going to talk about JBehave. So JBehave is an automation framework which is based on BDD. So I call it the Java way because it's basically purely for Java uh, used for the Java based applications. Uh, it's a very good tool I have used personally, and it gives support for BDD. Uh, we can write these stories, we can write the uh, features and everything. Uh, it's quite similar to the Cucumber. So we, today we will talk about uh, how this framework works and what is its uh, pros and cons and everything. So this is our agenda for today. So first we will talk about its introduction, what is uh, JBAV is. Then we will talk about uh, framework, how framework works. Then we will see a couple of features, uh, what the features supported by JBehave. Then we will talk about pros and cons of JBehave. Then we will talk about uh, comparisons with Cucumber because uh, JBehave and Cucumber have many similarities and they both are uh, very good uh, alternatives to each other. So it's good to have a couple of uh, things to know about the comparison between these two frameworks. And then we will talk about the other alternatives of JBehave. So let's start with the introduction. So JBEV is a framework for a BDD. As we all know that BDD is an evolution from the TDD and uh, it's a new uh, way of working in agile world. So uh, whenever we want to automate the things, JV, uh, we use the uh, Gherkin format, the BDD format. So for, the, for doing the automation part, we can also uh, support the BDD uh, and we can use JBF as JBF supports the Java based development and the all the stories are uh, written in plain English and Gherkin format. So story compromise of one or more scenarios and scenarios can be made up of one or more steps. So we will see how it's look like and how the framework works. So it's uh, just a very little uh, brief introduction about the um, JBF. So this is the diagram of JBF, how JBF works. So here you can see that uh, we, we just write these stories. Uh, so instead of uh, feature files, which we found in the other BDD uh, frameworks like Cucumber, so it has the story files. So we write all the stories, we write the scenarios in BDD, the Gherkin format in given when then. So all those things will be written over here in the story files. And related to those stories, we write the uh, our business logic, the Java uh, code in the step files, and we mapped it using the configuration file. So it has one configuration file which uh, mapped the story files with the step files, and it also uh, have the configuration related to the reports parts. Okay, so whenever uh, the configuration is done, which map the stories from the steps, and it also configured the reporting part. So once we run these stories, then uh, it will run all the scenarios and uh, it's generate the results so we can view it on, uh, it has the couple of uh, formats for the uh, reports. We will talk about it in uh, later part. So uh, we just view the results. So this is a very basic flow of JBF. As you can see, it's an easy, we have stories, we have steps, we configure it, we run it and we find the result. So this is all about the JBF uh, that we can see. The, in the previous slide, we saw how where, uh, we write a story file, we write a step file, we write a configure file, and then we run the story. So here you can see how we write the story in the Gherkin format. This is the format in the plain text English scenario. A trader is alerted of status, then given of a threshold, then when stock is traded at, then alert status should be off. When the stock is started at 16, then alert should be on. So it's a very basic scenario written in uh, the BDD format. Uh, so this is the story uh, which we write. Okay, so based on this story, we write the um, stepper class, so which is written in the Java, which is
which is written in the POJO. Okay, so it's a POJO class uh, which contains the um, logics of uh, writing the Java code over here for each and every step. Then we configure the stories. So for configuring the stories, uh, we configure a particular story uh, story file with the step file. So those configuration will be written over here in the uh, configuration uh, file. And uh, then we run it. So for running it, we can run it via IntelliJ Eclipse. Okay, the build can be directly built via uh, Maven also. So this is the flow. So these are the components for working the JBehave. So it's very very good uh, framework I have used even uh, before Cucumber I have used the JBehave and I am uh, very very happy with that uh, JBehave also but the, it has a couple of limitations so I need to move on to Cucumber else uh, because it's very very uh, depend uh, very very basic for Java in use of the Java applications we can use it very well but in case we have the another uh, languages then it's quite hard to use JBehave so I have to move on to to, to Cucumber. But yes, uh, if you if your application is uh, Java based application, then it's a very very good tool to use. Let's talk about its feature. So JBehave have the annotations. One is the step annotations, and the another ones are the scenario annotations. Same is Cucumber. It has given when then annotations. Along with it has the alias with, um, annotation also. Uh, and uh, we can uh, mention the multiple alias also. So the aliases are used in JBehave. Uh, suppose if you want to uh, uh, show whenever your report is generated and you want to uh, mention that particular step, not should be more uh, more technical and show on the uh, report side quite uh, related to business side. So you can mention at the alias, okay. So the stock is traded at price. We can see over here in the when part, but as alias, the stock is exchanged at the price. So this is a single alias we have mentioned for this when. So uh, the uh, story will be mapped with this when part only, okay? But the alias will be used whenever we want to display it. Same as we have, it has the another uh, aliases, and the multiple aliases we can be used. So in the then, along with the then annotation, you can see over here we have used the aliases. The second type of annotations with JBF support is scenario based. Okay, so before scenario, after scenario, uh, this kind of annotations is supported by JBF. So again, uh, it also supports the uh, annotation same as the cucumber. So it's uh, good to use uh, whatever we have the requirement in our system or in our uh, application. We can use these uh, annotations, the scenario annotations. So here we can talk about the JBA report. So it's a very good report of JBA. We can uh, customize it also as per our requirement. And the Maven plugin is also available for JBA report, which creates this pretty looking format report. And uh, here you can see uh, it, it shows the uh, scenarios, uh, given story scenarios, its steps, how many steps is uh, uh, run, how many steps is not run, successful, pending, fail, and everything. So it's a detailed report. Along with it has the three types of view. One is HTML view, one is plain text view, and another one is the states. So what a states will do, it will show you each and every step, how much milliseconds or seconds have been uh, consumed uh, for while executing. So it's a very good format. It uh, gives us the three kind of formats over here. We, uh, when we configure the reporting part, so we can configure all those three format and by just clicking over there. So for a particular uh, step also, we can uh, view this report in three different formats, which is a very, very good um, uh, thing is supported by JBF. It's a very good feature. Along with this, the uh, it also uh, supports uh, Apache Maven uh, for building the, the tools. Uh, Ant also it's supported. And Jenkins is also supported uh, with the JBF. So we can uh, use the JBF for our CI, CD uh, related stuff also. So it's a very good features provided by JBF. So there are a couple of pros and cons for uh, uh, JBF. We will talk about uh, one. First, we will go through the cons. So it's lack of communication. So whenever we have a lack of communication, then it's very hard to uh, uh, mapping the stories with the steps. Uh, if we have a uh, lack of communication with the uh, business or with the PO, then what happens? Then we will uh, map a wrong um, story file with the wrong uh, step class means. Uh, it's not like that we have created the some uh, we made some uh, mistakes 
related uh, to the uh, scenario part but there might be a, a case where there is a one scenario but with the lack of uh, communications we treated it as the another uh, requirement and we mapped it over there so it's a very basic uh, con uh, for this uh, framework where we can talk about the its pros that for the coordination part we can see that the first feature which is uh, the first pros part uh, is that the purpose of G behave is for supporting the behavior driven development. So again, the all the benefits which we receive from BDD from Garkin, we uh, we get from the JBAV also. Clarity again, uh, as QA and DF team were, and project manager were very closely in uh, in BDD, in uh, Agile. And whenever they write the test cases in BDD, so it's very easy to understand because the test cases are written in plain English. So again, the clarity is there. Again, the language, JBEHAVE used the semi uh, formal language. Is all, it also has a domain vocabulary. So using those consistent behavior, uh, so it helps us to maintain consistent behavior in the uh, team structure and the, in the uh, project also. So it's a very good thing because it has the semi formal language, the English language which we use in a story file. Here, uh, let's talk about some comparison with Cucumber because the Cucumber and JBEHAVE both are very, very uh, much uh, similar to each other. I think it's around 95% uh, part of the, uh, both the frameworks are similar, but there are a couple of uh, differences also over there between the uh, JBEHAVE and Cucumber. So the list is quite long, so I've just selected a couple of things uh, for the uh, difference part or the things which both contains because there are many things uh, which are common in both these uh, frameworks. So here you can see that uh, first we will talk about the documentation and uh, passing parameters flexibility. So let's compare it with, with Cucumber that uh, does Cucumber have the same features or not. Okay, so the official site is available for both Cucumber and JBF as a part of documentation. Uh, getting started guide. So for Cucumber is not available. We can see uh, there are many blogs of available for for Cucumber, there are many uh, different different sites available, but there is no op official starting guide available for Cucumber on internet. But JBF has uh, the JBF has the uh, proper starting guide on its uh, official website. API documentation is available on both Cucumber and JBF. Now let's talk about the passing the parameter flexibility. So tabular parameters like data table and the example tables. So both uh, uh, as like as the Cucumber supports, the JBF also supports the um, tabular format parameters, which is a very, very good uh, things to use when we want to use multiple uh, input data to test for a particular scenario for a particular step, we want to use it. So it's very, very helpful for us. Let's talk about the scoping and hooks which is supported by Cucumber and the JPF. So feature and story scope, so as these both uh, supported in Cucumber and JPF. In JPF it's known as story scope, where in Cucumber it's known as feature. So first tag which we use in Cucumber is known as uh, feature and the same use as the story scope in JPF. Step scope is not available in Cucumber because uh, it says it's an anti um, uh, structure what it's considered and they use it uh, but it is available in JBA for each and every step. We have a scope for that. Uh, scenario scope is available for uh, Cucumber and JBA both for before and after scenario. Uh, we can write, we can use the hooks uh, before and after in both Cucumber and JBA. And before and after feature also, we can use the hooks in JBA also, which is same as Cucumber. So friends, uh, it is uh, more likely uh, a BDD framework as Cucumber. So it's a very good, uh, the biggest benefit is that if you want to use it, uh, if your application is more on Java application side, okay, then you should go for JBEHAVE. If you want an, uh, to use a BDD framework which can support on multiple languages or uh, multi or an application which is not in, J in Java or it's which is partially developed in Java, then you can go for uh, Cucumber because Cucumber it support can support on the TypeScript also, it support on uh, dot net uh, it supports java also so if your application is purely java then i think it's a very good uh, framework to use uh, jbehave i have used it previously also and i am having a very good experience with it yes uh, there are a couple of things for the configuration related which we need to take care of so but it's okay to use uh, jbehave for the java based applications 
so there are some other alternatives to uh, jbhf one is easy easy b uh, which is also a java specific uh, uh, framework available for bdd kumar is all uh, is over there and jdev also so these two frameworks is also uh, available which are purely java based one is jdev and another one is easy b so this is all about the review for uh, jbhf uh, so again i want to tell you that it's uh, up to your project requirement which tool you want to use you can use it or which framework you want to use uh, but again uh, if uh, I, what i for my personal um, thinking if your application is more on java if purely on java if it supports the java uh, and if you don't have to be uh, go for any other more uh, kind of uh, language uh, you don't need to communicate with the other kind of language in your application then it's good to use uh, jbhf again it's depend on the uh, application to application if you want if there might be chance there are some applications who are partially developed in java and partially partially uh, uh, partially developed in uh, angular so in such a case you should go for cucumber again uh, this is only a review part of the uh, jbhf mbdd framework so this is all i know about the jbhf uh, as a part of review discussion so uh, if you have some uh, queries or you have some suggestion you can mention in the uh, comment box for that uh, as a part of tutorial uh, we will come up with the some uh, some videos for that also that how we can use jbhf how to configure the files uh, where we can use jbhf how to configure the pom.xml and everything so we will create a video on that also so thank you for your time uh, thank you uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press notification bell thank you